Ladies and gentlemen, I want to present to you guys a two-part story crime incident that took place in Jamaica. First, St. James men charged with murder of Mason. And the second one is five charged with illegal possession of ammunition and firearm in St. Thomas. You see me, I say so. That's the story for today. We're going to talk about it more and on a better watch your video. I am the jackal, Jamaican assassin killing all names. You already know what it is, man. Free here the voice, you already know it's the urban legend himself. Baga Things Media TV, subscribe to it. You and the family, you can vibe to it. Accurate news, ain't no lies to it. You know this the truth, subscribe, stupid. Yeah, man, you know what it is, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Representing for the baddest channel on YouTube TV. Baga Things Media TV, man. The only place you need to be tapped into. Jack who said that. So big man thing and big old man thing, ladies and gentlemen, I want to walk with me right and now we are jumping at the star. What are going star? You don't know anything go. The police in St. James have charged two men with the July 23rd murder of 37-year-old Jeremy and Samuels, otherwise called Jerry, a mason of Lilliput in Red Tank Lane, Adelphi St. James. Charged with murder are 24-year-old Raheem Cotis and 23-year-old Okeem Morris, both of Content District, Adelphi in the parish. So police fling charge upon them from left to right because them say boy allegedly they have slap where the mace they come like the mace boy have some problem or them have some problem with him and then decides a boy we can't resolve the problem in no other way. We can't resolve it by talking, by negotiating. We have to slap him away. Now hear what they must say now. Police report are that about 12.20 p.m. Samuel was carrying out a construction work on a perimeter fence when he was approached by Cotis and Morris who were both armed with firearms. Samuel ran but was chased and shot several times. The police were alerted and Samuel was taken to the hospital where he pronounced dead. According to the police, Morris and Cotis were nabbed the following day during operation in Adelphi and slapped with murder charges on Monday, August the 3rd. Their court date are being finalized. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see what really are going on, a bad man thing they man are the man them rush the man, see the man at work, and come on from the work site with the man do construction work and slap with the man. There's something you for you guys to note though. You notice say none of them no past 25 or 30. I pay a little boy, I live by the machine, them, you know. I pay a little youth, I take with the people, them life out there right now. That's why I'm telling you, I want the government and I want the parents, them, to really put something in place for your kids. Parents, raise your kids right. Get them off of the streets. Teach them the good values of Jamaica where we grow by. Majority of Jamaicans grow up with the good values, you know. I just nowadays me see the good volley left them and now and I just be a foolishness I go on. But again, ladies and gentlemen, in this case I wanna commend the police them for speedy launch the attack of the boy them uh hold them the CMD, capture them the CMD. So that's a good move by the security forces. At least the man in uh, wait till the boy them transfer to a different location, take with themselves and go on a different area. The man them are uh, run down upon them quick and fast and uh, stop them. You see me? This goes to show why people must report things to the police. You see me? I say, when I say that to them, it means so you must be safe, you know. You know what I mean? You don't have to give your name when you report to the police or the soldier them. Just call. You know what I'm saying? Make a call and make know what I go on. If you know, witness a crime, I want to see something that go away illegal in the area. You see me? In your community. You know what I mean? It's no man I meant what I said. Even if you have to put your phone on private and make a call and don't give your identity, don't sit down in a Jamaica and watch your boy them carry out them foolishness here. Yeah. All they invest in is gun, bullets and rounds and them something I want. This try with good, good island. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make a little jump over to the next case and now we're going to hear what go on. So watch me, let me take a step here now. Step with me. Five charged with illegal possession of firearm and ammunition in St. Thomas. Other one that we are dealing with. St. Thomas police have arrested and charged five persons with illegal possession of firearm following an incident in Hillside District, St. Thomas, on Sunday, August the 2nd. Yes, no man, a good move from the police them. 
from the police them a rape success them a rape off you go on them off for the street and a rape them off for the street so go oh. go on and now me could stop a little further charge our leonard campbell otherwise called mark 38 years old assistant manager of regency road spartanburg in south carolina usa so this i want to live all the way from usa come to jamaica and in the bad man business the gun and the rounds and the bullet and all these things why in the state of usa with it why you choose to come to jamaica with it i can't take them people you know now moving on to the next one chadwick henry 18 former of raywood lane yalas in saint thomas him get charged too the next one tashian scott 23 of newland district yalas in saint thomas here we are going to know michael lee lewis 22 cosmetologist of newland district yala saint thomas and jonah lawrence 20 of newland district yala saint thomas as so much of them and most of them it says that they have good job you have cosmetologists you have all type of gist all type of worker so them money are good workers you know them have good job see and on a ghetto youth there where you can say boy that one yeah him not have a job and he might try if he do a little thing and he, he not a badness because him not have nothing to go on for him all of them people are real out some of them have good job you know <laughs> they just a gentleman about that go on i saw so they love gun i saw so they love bullets i saw so they love can <laughs> Lord God, no, here we are going. Reports from the Moran Bay police are that about 5 p.m., all five persons were traveling in a Honda motor car driven by Campbell when the driver was signaled to stop by the police. They complied. The vehicle was searched and a 0.45 M1911 9mm pistol filled with a magazine containing 10 9mm rounds found. John No Star, the man, they stuck up with bullet and car and all type of things and where them are go man i must some war zone them money i drive go make them stack up so <laughs> lie ladies and gentlemen who not subscribe yet please do so right now the channel is growing fine i want you guys to keep subscribing like up a video too touch the notification bell for the notification post let me drop a video them i want you guys to get them you know what i'm say yo my things be the tv video them now nah, show up and me no get none we now have to touch up the notification bell if you don't get the video so you don't know say inform you when the thing starts you see it when the video them drop you get them yeah quick and fast now ladies and gentlemen here a paper say they were taken into custody and charged following a question and answer session as with the police them want doing you know, the police them want get all of the information them you know information on top of information and who them person yeah. what was the intent we want to go with gun in our car and rounds we only did that go do a slap on or slap with somebody the police didn't want to get the full details of what them person here was about to do. Their intention, their intent. Because me I tell you, imagine if a cop didn't eh, stop them. Maybe somebody head was going to get blew up, you know. Blew off, you know. Them boy, they are so dangerous boy nowadays. You can't trust them. Some of them have some hit man agenda go on. You see me I say? So, this is one I left all the way from USA. But most of them are from Yalas. You see me? No, the good, good St. Thomas, quiet and nice place when you're St. Thomas. You find man that try bring in guns, bring in man from other places for come corrupt the areas. I saw you go in a bad man travel and transport to different locations, you know. You see the police thing right now, the police them have carried investigation accordingly with all the bad man them have moved because they have so much gang affiliation I go on and now and they move from place to place so right now you book a couple man with all two can you book a man with all two weapon you can't just take it for face value and just say boy it's just a random man sometimes you have to check and wonder if this a person connect to some man over there so did this is this man connect to some man over there so why they for him they carry out one slap where we go on in a june the 15th such and such date and time I saw a police team of your canicky right now, you know, and a detective with them, you know. Because them money move from places to places, they move from parish to parish. Now for them to carry out eight man work from parish to parish and so forth. Ladies and gentlemen, we are penny war going on, you know. You know don't know, some bugger things media TV. I did so many reports on them, boy. I know how they move. The criminal modus operandi. They have a criminal intent, so you have to watch them, you know. 
I'm glad the police them bought them money and take them off the street because we don't know how what they do go on with them matic there and then car and the where man they fine. I got things media TV man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal out. Jackal.